Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I haven't put out that many content recently, but we're back because the latest update dropped yesterday. And I'm here to show you what items there are. And just a warning, this is spoilery because a lot of these items will be rewards for um, helping Reese and Cyrus for the wedding event and the May Day maze as well. So if you don't want to know what you will get, then you should probably not watch the video. But if you are curious, without further ado, let's get started. Over here first is some seasonal are some seasonal items. This being the carp streamer, which I think I was very surprised by how large it was. I know we saw it in they didn't even release a trailer this time. They just released an article, but this is the carp streamer. Uh, looks pretty nice. I think it would look nice, like perfect for a fish market on the beach or something. So let me know what you guys think. And over here, if we keep going to the left, we have some seasonal food items. Let me zoom in. And in the middle, let me center a little bit actually. That is a cheese wheel. And then I need to pick these up to remember the names, but some seasonal food items. It almost makes me want to build like a food area with just all the food items we've had. This, the Shuri Chui Talk. I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm butchering pronunciations. I'm pretty sure that's Korean. And this is the Festival Zongji. And this rover here is Rover's Photo, which is the prize for completing this year's May Day Maze, which is slightly different than last year's. Let me know if you guys did May Day last year or if you're still pretty new to the game. And if I'm not mistaken, if this is your first May Day Maze, you get the briefcase. And maybe you get the, um, the picture the second time you play through it. I'm not quite sure yet. Let me know if you know. And over here we have a carnation, which is a Mother's Day special. So pretty nice bouquet of like carnations. I was going to say roses, but carnations, which are naturally is pretty similar to roses. So another flower item. So if you have a flower shop or something, one more thing to add. And now we're going to take a look at the wedding items. Over here we have three wedding pillows. And I found it interesting that these are the colors of the wedding items this year since uh, last, uh, the old wedding items have like what that pink, that green, and then that brown color. So now we have like a red, a white, and a blue. So a wedding ring pillow for any brides to be out there. Let me know. Congratulations. And over here we have the major wedding item update. Look at Tex with his lollipop. These bells, I think they look fantastic. Like look at them. And they're in the matching colors, the brown, the white, and the blue. And the best part is... Oh, sorry, I have my flower basket. I have my flower basket right now, which is super cute for like flower girls. Just throw the, the flowers, just like the beans. Let me put that away and show you what happens when you interact with these wedding bells. Oh, can I not interact? Anyways, literal wedding bells. How cool is that? So I think that is a pretty cool item. That'll be like a very good centerpiece if you want to replace like a centerpiece for your rock garden such as like here or maybe replace those overused fountain centerpieces. So this is pretty much the extent of the items that are not clothing or wall mounted. So now I'm going to continue and I'm betting the wedding, item, the wedding items are customizable since they were last year. Let's go validate that. And again, none of these items, these are all like either seasonal or reward items, so they will not be catalogable. Oh, interesting. So the nuptial bell and the nuptial ring pillow are not customizable. Hmm. That makes me wonder if they'll be earned the same way with cart crystals from last year's wedding event. Anywho. If we continue this way, also what I'm wearing is part of the new clothing update. I really like this hat, especially look at the back, like how pretty is the hair there? I wish I could do my hair like that in real life, hi Claude. But the outfit, I think it looks almost identical to like what someone could make in a custom design, so I'm not as impressed. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Before I forget, 
I always get a million comments asking, oh my god, where did you get this since the majority of these items are time locked. Um, contact acbells77 on Instagram. They work generous enough to let me have these items so I can show it to you guys. But they have um, an island where you can just pick up um, all these new update items, super easy. They accept PayPal. I think it's like $4 or something. So if you want these items now and you don't want to wait for them, definitely reach out to acbells77 on Instagram. I will have um, that in the description as well. So over here we have a new clothes. All these aprons from the brown in five variants are for a Father's Day. They're called the Thank You Dad Apron. And I just think it's interesting that we got one carnation for Mother's Day, but we got five color variants of aprons for Father's Day. Maybe it's just me, but that's just my two cents. So let me try one on to show you what it looks like. So that is the Thank You Dad apron and the outfit I was just in is called the White Hakama with Crest. And that headpiece is called the, yeah, that. Okay, so moving on, we have another um, cultural item. So that looks, there's a little more texture to this one. So that looks good. What's this called? That is the Sh Shirumuku. So let's see what that looks like. Very nice, okay. And then here we have um, five color variants of the Phrygian Fer cap. I'm not sure what the significance of this is. So it's like a little, what, like dwarf hat it looks like? Mira, not now, I'm in the middle of something. Okay, anyways, they have that hat. And the one more thing, they have this newspaper, newspaper cap, which is very interesting. So like a paper, newspaper hat thing. Okay, Mira. Wow, how rude. Um, no. I don't know if they're catalogable, but I can't believe I literally just picked up something and she was trying to steal it from me, Mira. Okay, well that is all the clothing items. Let me go into my house. There's a few more items to show you that are the wall mounted items. So here we have the uh, one, two, three, four, five new wall mounted items. This art plaque is a reward from the museum rally, similar to the bug, fish, and fossil plaques if you've already played that. So we just added one more, looks cool. And then you have three different um, nuptial door plates in the same colors, the red, the blue, and the white. So if you have like a chapel themed house or something like that, that would be perfect for the door or even like the wall. And then we have a ship helm door decoration, which is basically the pirate ship helm, but wall mounted. And yeah, it was a pretty small update. I mean, I get it. The last update was so big, I didn't even do a video on it. But let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Hit a like if you enjoyed the content. And don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button to see future videos like this. Bye.